Hi, I'm David Harry, and in this video, which is the seventh in the series of A Quickie with Dave, I'm going to be putting on some protective glass onto my E1. Okay, so I'm going to kick straight into this and show you my attempt to put a piece of glass onto the back of the E1. Now what it is, as you'll see here, here is my E1. You'll probably notice that I've got these little like kind of like little wind muffy things on my E1. What it is, they're the Rycoat uh, mini wind jammers. I will actually be doing a video about using these on the E1 as well. So, you know, call back for that kind of thing. But we're here for this today. And what it is, this is the FX Hybrid Glass by at Follix. and what it is this particular glass is some kind of like a composite of glass and plastic material which makes it kind of dead flexible and whatnot okay so what I'm gonna do now is just open this up and we'll go through what's inside the package so here is all the stuff that comes in the package on this side here this is actually the back of the package in here and it's got a very simple guide on how to apply the glass and whatnot I don't think we're really gonna need that anyway this is just a little bit of a like kind of like calling card type thing. This is one of those little dust removers, which kind of like you dab on to remove dust. I'll show you that shortly. There's the glass itself there. And here is like a clean and cloth as well. So what I'll do, I'll get straight into the process. Okay, so this is the back of the E1. And here's the glass here that we're gonna put the protector on. Now, as per the instructions for these things, what you would normally do is use the cleaning cloth that comes with it and clean it and whatnot and get it all nice and clean and shiny and what have you. But, you know, what I would recommend is you clean the back of your camera as thoroughly as you can with the method that you would usually use anyway. Not that there's anything wrong with this, but I would use this lastly. Then what you would normally do these little kind of dust remover things that you usually get. The idea behind these is that you take it off so that you're left with the sticky side. So after you've cleaned it, you'd go over and do this and kind of take the dust off, you know, before you apply the glass. Well, in my particular instance, I don't usually do that. I just usually go straight to the cleaning with the cloth. So what I would recommend is Clean this as best as possible the way you would normally do it. Get it all nice, shiny and dust free and then give it one last quick clean with their supplied cleaning cloth like that. And then what you do is just go straight into applying the glass. So what you do here, pop the glass off being careful not to like get your fingers all over the insides. So just like kind of peel it off like this. And then what you do before it gets any extra dust on it, just flip it over, line it up with the screen. I mean, you'll be able to do this a bit easier than me because I'm trying to concentrate on talk and film at the same time here. Okay, so you get it on like that. And then what it should do, it should kind of like self-level itself as well, or, you know, the bubbles should all run out of it. And what you do, just peel off that back layer, and then there you go. You can see it, I've got some bubbling still on mine. Now, I'm not going to say that's defect, a defective uh, lens, uh, sorry, you know, glass or anything. It might just be something that's going to kind of iron itself out over time. Then give it one last clean here. I've still got a couple of bubbles on here. Um, let's see. I mean, nothing that's going to bother me, to be honest. There's a bit of a bubble up here and one over here. But right now, I've actually got the glass on the back there, which, you know, I'm dead happy with. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just switch the camera on. Okay, so as we can see here, I've got a, a close-up and I've got the menu one just so we can see what's going on. Now, on mine here, I've got a long bubble on the top edge and a bit of a bubble on the side here. Me personally, I'm not going to be worried about that because it's not interfering with the actual part of the glass where the actual screen is, do you know what I mean? So I can see everything in there. What's important for me now is the fact that I have now got the screen protected on the back of my E1. Okay, so aside from the fact that I have obviously got a serious problem trying to line up a piece of glass onto the back of a camera, and the fact that that sticky dust remover thing was actually putting more marks on the glass than what were there in the first place, I actually really do like that piece of glass now on the back of the camera, and there's two good reasons why. First reason is because I can now take a set of keys and start doing this all over the back of the E1 and not actually damage its screen. And the second reason, which isn't for nut jobs, is you can just simply 
put your camera down on its back like that without damaging its screen. Anyway, I hope this video has been of interest to anyone who owns an E1 camera. And if you're interested in any more of my E1 videos, just go to www.zcame1.com. Anyway, I need to get off out now and get me keys and go scraping all over the back of this because that's just the kind of nut job I am. So the last thing that remains for me to say is thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now. Hi, I'm David Harry, and in this, the seventh video in the series of A Quickie With Dave, I'm about to put on a piece of glass onto my E1.